Our culminating weather activity was a STEM project in which 7th graders worked in small groups to build a structure that could withstand hurricane force winds. The activity began with a brainstorming session where the kids came up with a list of things that could or would cause damage to a house during a hurricane. Kids came up with a list that included high winds, storm surges, flooding, power outages, and torrential rainfall. They then came up with ways to make a house that could withstand hurricane force winds. Ideas included reinforced walls, hurricane shutters, and the shape of the building. Students were given a list of materials and construction constraints. The house had to be 2,000 cubic centimeters or more and had to include two windows and a door. They then drew their house plans and listed the dimensions before building the actual house. Due to the unique designs of the houses, many students used volume formulas for cones, pyramids, and spheres. Finally, it was time to test. A leaf blower was used to replicate hurricane force winds. The ability of the house to withstand hurricane force winds was judged by how close the leaf blower could get to the house before the house was destroyed. 20 feet, 20 feet away was a category one, 15 feet away, a category two, and so on. To wrap up the activity, students discuss what worked and what didn't with regards to stability. The students also discussed how building a simple model could be applied to real buildings.